Hello, it's Dunstan and I'm feeling very uh, grateful today because I'm down at Manly Beach and I'm uh, <laughs> just soaking up the sun. Um, yeah, what is it, like nine in the morning, I've just been doing a bit of work on my phone and uh, just uh, excited to record this video with you because, um, you know, uh, if, if, you, if you take a moment to look around you, you know, a lot of, a lot of people that are, that, are, that are watching this will be in Sydney or, or, or some other beautiful part of the world. And, you know, if you ever think that life's tough, then, you know, there can be challenges. But really, if you, you know, what if you could just come down to the beach, make time to get to the beach and just, just come down and sit here. And I mean, how lucky are we that we, 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 can, we can sit here and, you know, in life, you don't really need that much to be happy. I was thinking about it this morning. Like, I got some good filtered water with all the, with some of the fluoride taken out and, um, you know that the, the sun's shining I'm breathing clean air and there's so much just to soak up and, and just to just to enjoy so what if you could just spend some time like you know what if you, you just go spend some time on your own down at the beach connecting to the connecting to the earth getting grounded and soaking up the sun now this might seem a bit weird today but I watched a great doco the other day called eat the sun and it was about people who use a practice called sun gazing. Now, there's a lot of fear about the sun in Australia especially. And there's a lot of fear around, you know, skin cancer and don't go out in the sun without being totally covered from head to toe and, you know, slip, slop, slap, put all that chemical sunscreen on your, on your body. And it's interesting that they've actually had studies where um, kids have been suffering from lack of vitamin D because the body naturally produces vitamin D in the sunshine. And I'm not talking about, you know, sun baking for 12 hours and becoming like a leathery prune. I'm talking about like a little bit of sun every day, like 30 minutes of winter time. So I don't know the figures, but, but, but being in the sun where it feels good and your body produces vitamin D. So, you know, if, if you're in Australia and you're spending too much time behind a computer and, and you've got that kind of that tan from the computer screen, that kind of pale, kind of bluey tinge to your skin. Um, you know, or if, you're, if your kids are, are, are like deathly white because they're always so covered in, in sunscreen, um, just have a think about that. Because what if, what if the sun was actually really nutritious and could charge you up? And I want to share with you what I've been doing this morning because it's so freaking powerful. And I'm just starting to get into this practice, so I'm in no way an expert, but I've already had some amazing results. So what's the practice? Well, there's lots of different versions, but it basically consists of getting your feet on the earth and relaxing and breathing and feeling the abundant energy that's, that's there. Now, you're probably thinking, you know, you're probably either, either already into this stuff or you're thinking what a load of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo how can you just get energy from standing on the ground and and connecting with the sun and the ocean and the air now you know probably a couple of years ago i thought we thought it was pretty weird too and i've been getting results so who cares if it's i mean what do you care most about if it's a bit weird and a bit different or your conscious mind goes that can't be that can't be logical or if it works and gets you results so how how would you know like the only way you're going to know is if you do an experiment yourself and um, you got to work that out for yourself but look I want to just share with you what works for me what works for me is to get my feet on the ground and, and get my feet on the sand or on the grass or in the dirt and just feel the earth and and what actually happens is that electromagnetically all the all the charges that the, the stuff that you energetically the, the electromagnetic stuff that you've accumulated can then just flow into the ground and clear out from your system so that's the first part, so just getting grounded. Now, if you look up grounding, there's, there's all sorts of articles and things about that. Um, the second thing is to, to start to, to breathe. Now, I like to imagine that my breath is connecting me down to the core of the earth, which represents the feminine for me, and down right into the core of the earth, then breathing that up through the soles of my feet, in through my hips, up into my heart, and then breathing that out through the top of my body, connecting up through to the sun and beyond to the cosmos and for me that represents the masculine principle now if that's a bit much for you 
don't worry about it. You know, if that's all a bit woo-woo, you can just take some really good deep breaths and breathe right down into your toes and your fingertips. If that's too weird for you, just breathe full breaths into your lungs. You know, most breathing, we only use like a fraction of our lungs up at the top. So first, number one is get grounded. Number two is to breathe. And, and then you can do things like just connect with the sun. Just let yourself feel the sun on your skin, making all that good vitamin D. Let the sun connect through your, visualize it, connecting through your, your third eye here, through your pineal gland. Um, I believe, and, and, and there's a lot of people who, who've done research on this, that, that there's this amazing device inside us, the pineal gland, which is perfect for deciphering the amazing energy, intelligence, and, and data that comes from the sun. So letting that into your, your pineal gland, which has been calcified through fluoride and the tap water mainly, and, and lots of other you know, acidic foods that are oxidizing and calcifying the pineal gland. So there's amazing practices you can do to start to reverse that process and clear it out, clear out that gunk, so you can be more alert, more alive, more intuitive, more connected to your own wisdom, more connected to to this energy that, that's, that's there, that's just there to access. And I'm so excited about this. You can probably tell I'm a little excited. And uh, yeah, you know, and uh, it may be a bit too full on for you too. So if you, if you don't feel you're, 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 I don't know though, there must be something you can, you can do. Even if you just take three deep breaths right now, just pause it and take three deep breaths and stop for a moment and then go on with your day. Because I just find like, when I do this of a morning, you know, I just feel more in, in, my, in my power. I feel more able to communicate with people. I feel more, more open in my heart and I feel uh, that I have more messages to share like this video. So um, I'm gonna sign up there, sign off there, but, but um, just review those key things. So, you know, grounding down into the earth, using your breath to connect, soaking up the sun, and, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a little bonus thought here. Something else you can try. Look, you don't have to try all this at once. Just try one thing and you can always come back and add more in later. But something else is to let your body move. Now, whether, whether you do yoga, um, I've, been, I've been doing some yoga with my friend Marcus, who's awesome. Um, or whether, whether you just like to stand and move and groove. Like, you know, what if you could find a space where you get, get some tunes on your iPhone that you love and just let your body move and just really feel the, 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 the music in every cell of your body. There's an awesome mix from Francesco uh, on SoundCloud that I've been, I've been, it's been going off. I can feel it in my body and, uh, and uh, you know, everyone, you know, if, if you can overcome your self-consciousness with dancing and just let your body move, there's so much bliss and joy available in dancing. Just, just, or just moving your body or shaking or, or vibrating. Look, I'm not going to oversell this one to you because if you want to try it, you will. And if, you, um, you know, if you're too busy uh, or whatever, then um, well, there's nothing I can do. I'm just giving you some ideas. So uh, let me know how you go. Leave me a comment. And if you know someone that would enjoy this, just pass it on to them. I'm not selling anything. I just want to sell you on the idea that you can have a great life. And it's so simple. You don't need to spend a single dollar on, on, on doing this stuff. Everything I've mentioned is free. I don't know. You might want to get a water filter. But apart from that, go for it. Get into it. I'm going to sign off there. Um, roll on with my day. And uh, I will see you guys, guys next time. Um, yeah, look, if you love this video, let me know. If you, if you, if you think it's weird and, and it doesn't Fit, then let me know. I, 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 I totally want to know how. Uh, I want to. I want to be of service, and uh, I'd, I'd like your help in that. Because I can't. I don't know. I'm just making it up, and I hope it's useful. But um, anyway, um, yeah. Communicate. Drop me a line. Send me an email. Uh, message me. Whatever. You know how to get in touch. And um, yeah, let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear from you, especially if I've never met you before. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers.